How you doing, guys? Your favorite greaser here on your favorite greaser channel, the Madman. All right, today's video is on the origin of the engineer boots and why they're so fucking awesome. So let's get started, shall we? engineer boot is this is an engineer boot specifically made by dingo i just got these last month for my birthday i love them you will know an engineer boot by a strap bottom buckle strap and top buckle and its stovepipe design this is an engineer boot and the preferred boot of a greaser lace-up boots are cool yes they did wear them but uh, to really polish off the look and the style you want engineer boots well, what are engineer boots? Engineer boots are a mixture of two boots, the ruggedness of a logger boot and the simple design of an English riding boot. And if uh, you guys get some time, go on Google and look up logger boots and look up English riding boots and you will see how both of them combined really do make up the engineer boot. Truly awesome. When were they invented? Well, they've been able to track it down to at least the 1930s during the uh, Great Depression time. However, when the 1940s rolled around, the engineer boot was out of favor, and that was because of World War, War II. During that time, they had the war effort, so all raw materials, foods, and stuff of that nature, um, industry had shifted its focus into providing for the war effort. So they would have been making, you know, uh, shoe and boot makers would have been making uh, shoes and boots for the war so that's where your lace-up combat boots really got their start and during that time they wouldn't have wasted their time making engineer boots you probably could get them but it wouldn't be uh, it wasn't in demand and it wasn't probably as plentiful on the shelves as they were previous they did get a resurgence in the 1950s and i'm going to go into that in more detail a little bit later okay who made them first Nobody has been really able to track this down uh, to 100%. It's a toss-up between Chippewa and Wesco, and they do still make boots to this day. However, they are very expensive, and that's because, uh, well, the crafting that goes into them is just fucking phenomenal. If you guys do want to check it out, since I know some of you are really into brands, check out Chippewa and Wesco. Okay, Those are the original makers of engineer boots. Go look them up and you'll notice that they're four, five, six hundred dollars you know a pair depending on the type you get. They're, they're not cheap, but uh, they are original and they are very, very cool. Why were engineer boots invented? Well, that's a good question. Engineer boots were actually invented for the railroad industry, for the men who worked in the railroad industry. <clears throat> engineer boots they needed something that had a simple design that was rugged so that's where you get the ruggedness of the logger boot and the simple design of the you know the English riding boot the guy who would shovel the coal the fireman that's what they called him they would call him a fireman they would wear the engineer boots because of the stovepipe the tall stovepipe design that goes up your uh, your calf would protect them from hot embers and the uh, blade of the shovel when they were shoveling in coals. Why did greasers wear them? Okay, this goes back to World War II. The vets that were getting out of World War II, a lot of them took up riding motorcycles. I talked about this in my origin of the greaser and the greaser style. If you haven't seen that video, I will post it below in the description. The guys from World War II, when they came back, took up motorcycle riding. And in doing so, really invented the traditional greaser style of, you know, wearing the white t-shirt with the, you know, the leather biker jacket, the raw denim jeans, and the engineer boot. They liked the engineer boot because of its simple design. There was less pieces to get caught up in moving parts on the motorcycle. And they were rugged and sturdy, so it provided them protection for riding. So there you have it, guys. The origin of the engineer boots and why they're so fucking awesome. I got my facts from an article that was written about it and it has a bunch of really cool old pictures including old advertisements 
such you know such as ones you'd find in the Sears magazine back in the 1950s. So if you guys want to give that a look, I will also post that link below as well. So if you don't know, guys, get a clue, get a brew, get a rock and roll tattoo. The madman is out.